combination of authenticity with you can have you're totally willing to have conversations with no holds barred, right? You can't have that in the academy. Mm-mm. So people need to go to you to hear these thoughts and to wrestle with ideas and to engage. It's just it, well, it's you a, can you it, can't really do it anywhere else other than a podcast. Well, you because, can't do it in the academy. But you can't even do it on the Today Show. They fired Megyn Kelly right, for right. What, asking why is blackface racist, right. which is a stupid fucking question, no <laughs> doubt. She's not a bright woman in, in that regard socially, right? It's, so, it's a uh, very clumsy, clunky thing to say. Clunky. But they just fire her. They fire her. Yep. They should have, what they should have done was brought in black scholars and black intellectuals exactly. for a week just exactly. to fucking grill her exactly and that would have been amazing television but yeah, that yeah. attitude that you have is not what they have so right. they well, want to punish panicking. the transgressor right do they, they well i they, think they just want to stop hemorrhaging and i think they didn't like her anyway i mean well, the, the word true. the word is they really didn't enjoy her and that she wasn't a nice person and she was a a mean but it was a learning moment, right? It was a teaching moment that's lost now. Yes, yes, yes. But, yes. but it's think, lost. But think about it in terms of what we were talking about earlier, where the the scholarships stretching back again to the '60s. You have this idea that all of society is constructed out of power dynamics that are mediated through language, media, imagery, and so she just now became problematic, mm. and she put out <laughs> ideas that would be dangerous and poisonous. Not yeah. something to discuss the merits or dismerits of, not something to work through, not something as a teachable moment. She put out an idea that's dangerous. She can't put out ideas anymore. Well, you know, it was really interesting, too. She tried. She was so disingenuous in how she approached it. It was so obvious. You know, what a, a black person is it? Why is it wrong for a black person to dress as a white person? Mm. It's not. No mm. one ever said that. Why are you pretending? You're just setting it up so that you can say a white person wearing black ma- blackface. Right. Yeah. Th- well, think, about the, think about the other cultural moment there, too. So, like you said, they bring in black scholars. And at the end of that, she said, you know, I really listened to that. And yeah. I didn't know that. And I was wrong. And I'm changing my mind. There was like, this woman on Twitter that said her video looked I, I retweeted it, that it looked like a hostage video. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> The yeah. only thing that was missing was her holding up a newspaper that showed the date. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, an Australian woman. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. The whole thing is so fucking funny. But that is one of the worst ways to, to really dissect ideas. Because first of all, there's a studio audience. That that fucks everything up. Right. Second of all, you have these massive time constraints. Mm-hmm. And then you have advertisers. Then you have a bunch of executives that are all cowards. They're all just ready to pull the trigger on anything. Yeah, yeah, Anytime yeah. they can blame you for anything that went wrong and get rid of you or fire you, fire Fire him. Get rid of him. Get yeah. rid of him. Bring in the next person, you know, mm. and then they'll, what they'll most likely do is to to show they've learned they'll hire an all black crew, right? For, for the, a diverse crew. Yes, that's, right. that's probably all they what they're going to the, do. Yeah, yeah. Yep. As a matter of fact, I think I read. Isn't aren't they doing that? See see if they do that. They're replacing Megyn Kelly with a, a crew of of color. <laughs> it's just, Think about where that works, right? It works. You said they're cowards. They're afraid they're going to, you know, damage their brand or whatever it is. Yeah. Where does that work? Or who works on that? Bullies, right? So these people, why are they so pervasive in the academy? Why are they so so pervasive in media? They know they can bully these people. They know that they can go lean on this stuff and somebody's going to be cowardly and then they're going to be able to, you know, make something change in the direction they want it to change. Right. You see it even creeping into politics. They they try to do it with policymakers. You see it a lot more in, in a lot of other countries. Right now, we're in this massive like backlash against it in American yeah. politics. How's that going? You know, did did, did 2016 <laughs> help your progressive agenda, gang? Mm. Holy mm. crap! Well, that is a part of the problem with the what are they, what are they saying? So, yeah, look at this. Today, as you know, we're starting a new chapter in the third hour of our show as it evolves. It's evolving. It's a fucking living being. We want you to know the entire Today family will continue to bring you informative and important stories, just as we always have. And look, two black guys and a brown chick. <laughs> That's 100% we, diverse. We got rid of the <laughs> ice princess. It's all diverse. That's the thing. Yeah. The way that diversity is de- uh, defined, if you had a panel that was just black guys, it would be 100% diverse. Yeah, Whoa. so they've redefined the word diversity. They've yeah. redefined the word inclusion.